Proudly covering all of Northeastern and Central Pennsylvania, this is Eyewitness News. Good morning and thanks for joining us on this Wednesday, August 21st. I'm Chris Langlois. Before we get to all your top headlines, let's uh, send things over to meteorologist Stefano Di Pietro. Stefano, good morning. Good morning, Chris. And we're watching for showers and thunderstorms as we go through today. One little batch comes through this morning, and once we get sort of out of the morning and right to the lunch hour, things are pretty isolated at this point. For the rest of today, it's really dependent on really how much sunshine we get. The more sun we'll see, the more these showers and storms will be able to develop, but being locked in the cloud cover for today would keep a lot of this at bay. So just something we'll be watching. You can still see future casts hinting at those showers and storms as we go through this afternoon and into this evening as well. Here's your eyewitness weather forecast. 86 for the high today. Warm and humid showers and thunderstorms as we go through the afternoon. Then tonight we'll drop to the 60s near 80 tomorrow. Starts to get less humid tomorrow. There's still an isolated shower Friday just a battle with the cloud cover Saturday and Sunday. We are in the 70s to near 80 with a good deal of sun, Chris. All right, thanks, Stefano. Interstate 81 southbound in Lackawanna County is back open this morning after a tractor trailer caught fire. That fire began last night around 10 between the music and Avoca exits. We're told the brakes of the big rig caught on fire, spreading to the cars it was carrying. Crews were able to detach the load from the cab of the truck. No injuries were reported. The traffic was backed up for several hours overnight as crews cleaned up the mess. A heads up for drivers in Wilkes-Barre this morning. Continued work by Pennsylvania American Water Crews will require East Northampton Street to be shut down. This will happen between South Main and South Washington Streets from 9 until 1 today. Well, someone in Scranton is holding a winning Powerball ticket worth $150,000. It was purchased at Joe's Quick Mart on Providence Road for Saturday's drawing. They have one year to come forward. If you'd like to follow our top stories, you can do that at pahomepage.com.